verifying. Do I really want to do that? Your wisdom, you are wise beyond your years, John. I'm glad we. I used to. I don't know. I hadn't heard you harangue me in a while, and I guess I fell out of practice. But I love the fact that we've got the uh, dash cam, so we'll have audio record of the many times that you berated me. Like there are two ways to get there. One way, and they're both the same amount of time. One is the boring old free way, and the other is this beautiful back roads so that we're going to do. Beautiful back roads. So nice. This guy smoking. No. I think he was. Yeah, was he? Was. That's so weird because we've lived here now almost eight years and I never noticed people standing out around there until I don't know maybe a month or so ago and now all the time there are people out there just smoking. Yeah. It's not the same people. Yeah there are like I think I know the woman you're talking about. I saw her out there quite a bit. Yeah. White woman. Yeah. yeah. Look, I don't think she's Looking a little, uh... Yeah, I think she's messed up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> to say the least. People but who are sitting out and on the corners like that <laughs> smoking cigarettes usually are. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it was, and, and like, they would, like, fight and smoke. Like, fight and, like, and smoke. Or they wouldn't like this, like they wouldn't like punch each other and get into actual fights. But like one time, like when we were biking and like we just heard them talking and they were like, or, like one of them was like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come back. I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah, they're probably. Oh yeah, good lord. They're probably either drug addicts or possibly former drug addicts. Former drug addicts are even worse because they're no, they like. Were, they were at the time. Yeah. The man like oh, you can be a drug addict and a smoker. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't really. Uh, Second, like, you know, most drug addicts are smokers. I bet he, he looks like he also looks a bit um, um, like a tweaker. So this is awesome. Maybe around like early. Yeah, the way we get there is uh, the, this is my longer bike ride. I haven't done this one this year so far. I've only done the brushy yeah, we one. Did. Well, you and I came. Yes, you and I did come out to the. Not as far. Right, I didn't go all the way. Yep. Try to be cautious, just like other drivers are. He'll come over here so he doesn't have to feel scared at all. Share the road, they say. Oh yeah, this is cool. I'm actually we're going to go all the way to the end of my normal bike ride. Uh, yeah, uh, you and I, yes, yeah. we, the farthest we went, we went down to the end of this one, right, where you yeah. turn left and stuff, yeah, and then we came back. That's pretty good, dude. Yeah, I don't think you were. No, you were not. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. It was, we were talking about Dash, me and him biking, we biked all the way down, yeah, right up here, to this curve. And uh, there was a big fight, big political battle, and the opponents lost over there somewhere. 
is going to go a huge field of solar panels to generate solar electricity. I, I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, well, on the one hand, it's kind of a bummer that more of this open land is being redeveloped. On the other hand, that's probably one of the best uses that it could be put to because yeah, yeah. number one, there will still be an, you know animals and stuff will still be able to coexist with it. Uh, we need green energy. You know, solar energy is very clean energy. Yeah, I know. I know. Right. And as somebody who bikes around here, I appreciate the fact that um, you know it's not going to generate much in the way of new car traffic, so it'll keep this area, you know, sort of rural. Like, you know, I just can't imagine, I mean, it just amazes me, this whole area would be ripe for turning into homes. I'm sure it's going to be someday. Who knows why, but you know, it has something to do probably with land ownership. The people that own this land may not be willing to sell it. Although. Wait, but didn't, didn't, aren't they actually going to build the home Uh, well, yes, apparently. So they got like a new city like, Yes, a, the favorable and it was decision. It down, it was turned down, but then it was over that, but then it turned down. Right. Over. Whenever you have a trial in a court, they make a ruling, but then you can always appeal that ruling to an appeals court who reviews it, and they determine whether it was acceptable or not. And then usually, if you don't like that, you can appeal it to one more level of appeals court, although that level of court, the Supreme Court, doesn't take most of the cases, so usually you're just screwed. So we're probably just screwed. All right, I'm excited. Usually I just stop right back there. I never drive down here or anything, so this is new territory for me. I think it's going to be like over there, and I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, the court just overturned it. I'm sure they're probably threatening to appeal again. So you probably got a couple more months before all that even stops for good. But then uh, it was my understanding that even more stuff will need to be done before construction starts. They'll need to have it looked at by the federal government. Their engineers will need to come in and do some stuff. And so it's still going to be a few more months at least. It'll be really annoying. I suppose, except I gotta say that in your room, I doubt you're gonna hear it at all. I know, but like, going outside. In the backyard. That's gonna be fine. Uh, or even outside. It's not gonna be that bad. Okay. And also, the phone. Yeah. But. get rid of my bike legs and really like do this come way out here no this isn't even that far really I mean yeah maybe six miles I mean there are lots of people that'll you know bike 25 30 miles of a stretch no problem and then you know they're training for or a bike ride from San Francisco to LA, which is 350 miles.
just really good biking territory out here. Coffee and orange juice. What else is in your 
breakfast? It's like the normal breakfast, like bread, like cake, bacon. Eggs, most bacon. definitely, yeah. out here. And they're going to be not scrambled, they're going to be fried. Center. Look at this. Yeah, in the afternoon you might go horseback riding. Up at 
6.30. Let's put that at 5.30. Crack it down. So you'll probably be asleep by 10. And, then of course, the highlight of your week, Sunday, when you get to go to church. you guys the video of all the fireworks that were going off in Los Angeles, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. All of them illegal. <laughs> or almost all. It was like as if it was the 4th of July. It was, actually. Well, I know, but it was like as if it was the fireworks. I get why it was there, I just don't know why we got a red. I misspoke.
does not look like it. I don't know. Fortunately, we're here early, so there's no problem. It's all giving me an alternative way. Lord, this wants me to go like all the way around. Is that the museum right there? I believe so. I'm gonna take my chances here. Yeah. Probably through there, but this is just okay. the signs or what? The, my phone is useless at this point, so. <laughs> Black Hawk Museum. It's behind us. It says Black Hawk Surgery Entry. Uh, or maybe this. Entry. I don't know what that sign is supposed to be telling me. God. Hey, whatever. We can get there from here. So. Still gonna be early. This just takes us right back to where we were, so okay. that's where we needed to be. Getting to ooh, <laughs> terrible. What? Oh, just uh, my interest perks up when I see the McDonald's M. Where? Uh, right over there. It's blocked by some cars now. There. Okay. I have been trained. Alright, so after we go in here, now we're going to follow the signs. No, we didn't. I followed my phone. I know, uh, certainly not my biggest mistake ever. Tesla? Yeah. That one? Yeah. Oh. Didn't look anywhere nearly as cool as I thought a Tesla should look. No, because those are the bit, those are the ones that are a bit more beefy and bulky. And are they like economy, more economy cars for regular people who aren't as rich? Because it looked like it was a less expensive car. Uh, I, I honestly don't know. Alright, Blackhawk Automotive.